Nina Gill, MEP. This week, the Panama Papers were released, showing that half of the companies listed in these papers are registered in UK overseas territories or crown dependencies. Should the UK be doing more to stop tax evasion? Well, firstly, I'd like to say that I'm absolutely astonished and shocked at the scale of tax evasion that is being revealed as a result of the Panama Papers. And secondly, I think look, most of the people I represent are hardworking, you know, they're paying their taxes in the UK. They are equally shocked and they see that there is one rule for those with the money and another rule for them. And clearly they want the UK to do something. They feel embarrassed that UK is seen as, you know, or our territories are seen as some sort of tax avoidance um, uh, place. So, you know, I think it would only be fair for them, the hardworking taxpayers who want to see action to stop these practices in our territories. And it's important that the UK takes the lead, but also that the EU takes the lead as well. We have to address this. We cannot have, you know, those with, uh, who are rich, powerful. We see that there are very many former politicians, very many uh, current politicians in other parts of the world that we have to address this. And we have to address it fast because I believe the taxpayer is exasperated finding out you know, year on year, new revelations, how either multinationals or the very rich are finding ways of not paying their due way in society. Are the S&D MEPs and other MEPs calling for the UK to take action? Well, absolutely. As I've said, uh, as, you know, uh, S&D and the Labour Party our leadership has been at the forefront to say we must address these loopholes. We must make sure that we no longer are the pariah in the EU where we have five uh, overseas states which have been blacklisted. But we do need to take this action at a global level. I think it is important. I think UK absolutely should be at the forefront taking action, and, uh, but so should the EU.